We're two retirees hooked on travel. Follow us on our journeys around the world. We're starting our trip today from where we left off in our last video at the beautiful town on the Black Sea coast of Primorsko. One of the challenges of coming to the beach this time of year is to find parking. And luckily we have our bikes so we can find parking outside of the, the main city proper. And then we can just bike in. We just took the bikes off the racks and we're heading into Primorsko, uh, the town of Primorsko. There is a lot of hotels here and the beach is packed. So we're gonna make our way down to see what we can see here. It's very popular. They have a lot of uh, all-inclusives and a lot of youth camp type places. Limited parking, we got here early and like I said, we parked on the outskirts of town, which gave us, the, the bikes gave us the ability to, to park outside of town. If you come here, definitely get here early to find a place to park. They do have a little train that's taking people around, so I think that you can park outside of the town and then you can, you can get that little train and it'll, it'll bring you in. So it's about 50 cents for this train to take you up from your hotel into town. Primorsko has a river and uh, this is a walking bridge across to go over to the beach. Um, hmm. So there is a beach here and it looks like you have, you can take a boat around, 40 minute boat ride to on um, sea excursions, all kinds of sea excursions. <laughs> wow, I never knew this existed, did you? You can rent a, rent a uh, an umbrella for seven lev, which is about $3.50. And then also you can get a, a, a lounge chair for seven lev. So for 14 lev, you can get an umbrella and chair, which is about $7. From eight in the morning until six at night. That's the deal. That's why everybody's here and it's packed. There's all kinds of places to buy food. Uh, it's close to town, and now we can go explore the city. They're making those homemade waffle cones. They're set up here to feed a lot of people. Here's another viewpoint from of South Beach. We uh, just made our way around from the beach over here to the park. It's really nice. It's woody, and uh, you can see all the people enjoying the beach today. The water is crystal clear. There is a lot of uh, really nice waterfront restaurants. They have full kitchens. Really nice. Probably have a good menu too. And uh, we're noticing that it's a bit less expensive here compared to like Sunny Beach. And uh, Zarko says a lot of the Bulgarians come here. There's a lot of neat for vacation. There's a really a lot of nice boutique hotels right on the water with a view. 
This is kind of a nice little promenade area. Wow, this hotel has a big swimming pool. I like it here. It's in our backyard. I mean, 50 kilometers from Burgas, our hometown, is this neat little vacation town, Primorsko. What I like about it is there's way more than one beach. There's like four different beaches that we've seen so far, and it goes on and on. So depending on where you're staying, you can pick a beach. There's some really nice new areas here. Not sure what they do here, why they have the shade, but it'd be different if they had chairs or something. Oh, this is the path down to the beach. Another beach. They have jet skis. And look at that. <laughs> They're bringing in a whole bunch of people on a jet ski on an inner tube in this rough water. It's probably one thing you can do in the rough water. This bay right here is not protected like it was in South Beach. It's probably protected on another day when the wind's coming from the north. Over there to your left, there's a rocky area, and we're going to go around it, and we're going to go to Akuktuno Beach, Sarko's favorite, and we'll show you what it's like over there. So you got to see what it looks like from the bikes. We stopped along the way, and then we're gonna load up the bikes and we'll drive the rest of the way through Primorsko over to Alcutano Beach is our next destination. Well, here's a store. They claim everything is made in Bulgaria. Bulgaria has a huge textile industry. You probably don't, don't know this, but they they sold for a lot of different companies, and those companies put their label on it. Here looks like the city hall. Yeah, the city hall. It's pretty big. I, I'm surprised. It's several levels back. This looks more like the main entry, the main town uh, street where you, you, you come in. It's loaded with hotels. We're now heading out, out of uh, Primorsko, and we're going to be heading north to Akutino. There is no sign off the road, so you have to really watch it. And there's Arkutino, Arkutino Resort. Wow, it looks big. If you're staying in the resort, uh, that's the access, but we're gonna go up here to the public uh, parking. Look at that, another huge development project. There's quite a few of them on the Bulgarian coast. I guess during the 90s, there was a lot of shady and mismanaged real estate developments. Thank you. 
Driver's Beach. All uh, right, we're at Driver's Beach, and this is why they call it Driver's Beach, because it's right along the road. Mm -hmm. It's an open beach. It's all public and open to anyone that wants to come. You don't have to rent anything. You just bring your own stuff. It's uh, perfect for for just coming with the kids uh, for the day, having a picnic. It's not the best parking right off the road, but it's a huge, big beach. Today is kind of rough. Generally, it's nice at home. Mm -hmm. And one thing to think about, too, though, this is one of the few beaches in Bulgaria that does not have a lifeguard. So uh, you have to be kind of careful about that. Some people even bring their campers and hang out. There's that, the Royal Palace is right there. They have a beach over there. It's called Uni Beach, which means uh, sand dunes. And this is Dooney. This is the Dooney area. They have some nice uh, umbrellas and chairs if you want to go out there and rent. There's not very many people here today. Here's the Royal Palace Resort. They have a huge private beach. The place is that huge, it's massive. This is massive. Look at this. Marina Royal Palace. We're uh, just now entering Sozopol. There's a lot of new construction, a lot of beaches, and a lot of cars. We're going to get a little bit closer to the, to the town, and then we're going to take the bikes out, and we're going to bike. We, uh, we did come here before we bought our, uh, before we bought our condo in Burgas. We came here in January and the whole place was pretty much shut down. And uh, we were looking at a place here. It was really nice. It has a tennis courts and a lot of activities, but there's, it's completely closed down in the, in the wintertime. Okay, we're just on the outskirts of Sozopol. We just turned in off the main road. And uh, we're kind of heading down to the new part of Sozopol. When you find somewhere to park and it's a blue zone, you, you can just put it on your phone bill. You just call up the phone number and, and it, it bills right to your phone, your phone bill. Okay, we uh, just, look, just took the bikes off the rack and uh, now we're heading into Sozopol. We're in the new town and we're gonna explore it first before we go to the old town. And uh, here you have all kinds of modern uh, hotels and a uh, huge beach. After a while, you know, the beaches start to look kind of the same. Just beaches covered with umbrellas and chairs. <laughs> wow, it's a nice beach. Still a lot of chairs and, and umbrellas available. If you want to rent one, it's not a problem. <laughs> Sozopol is one of my favorite beach towns here in, uh, in Bulgaria. It's the charm. When we get into the old town, you'll see what I mean in terms of the charm of the, of the history and the cute shops. Here is a perfect beach, so you can come and stay in the new town enjoy the beach and in the evening you can walk in the old town sky terrace harmony bar and dinner
I really like the Bulgarian cuisine. They, they, it's, it's a Mediterranean diet, but they put a little bit better spin on it. They, uh, the cuisine here, unbelievable salads, grills. I enjoy the eggplant. In America, you've never, I, people don't eat eggplant in America, but here are a lot of eggplant. I love it. Looks like they have some Turkish and some Greek food, fast food. Oh, fresh, fresh fruit, really nice. This time of year, they haul in a lot of fruit from the farms and a lot of local fruit. Oh, this is the walking street. Actually, we've never been in the walking street on the new town. I would imagine it fills up at night. Right now, everybody's at the beach. <laughs> yeah, the the new town is uh, a lot of it is closed during the winter time, and and. Uh, we, we like to come over here to Sizopal for dinner. Even in the wintertime, there's a few places open. But uh, I'm impressed. There's quite a bit of shops and restaurants and a lot of hotels, a beautiful beach. So now we know where everybody comes to the beach because in the old town, there's really not much for a beach. OK, uh, we're now coming up onto the entrance to the old town which is in a completely, it's a completely different peninsula that just out over onto the sea. Cobblestone streets. <laughs> Here's the harbor. And uh, in the morning, the fishermen come down and they bring fi fresh fish. Here's the old fishing boats here parked. And then you can also get on one of these dinner cruises that go all around. It gives you a completely different feel over here. It's extremely picturesque. It, you feel the history here and uh, a lot of nice restaurants all over the place. On the back side, on the front side of the peninsula, up on the cliff. There is a couple of parking, parking, paid parking lots here, but you need to come early. Generally, they fill up.
This, res this restaurant right here, we just love it. It's, it uh, has great food and they are open year round, one of the few. There's a lot of history here. Some of the homes, when they started building them, they found these uh, historic ruins and then they, they had to stop building. We're looking for a place to have lunch. And I always like to, to, to eat on the waterfront here. Oh my goodness, this is the old town of Sazopal Beach. And we were on the other side of that peninsula right there a minute ago in the new town. And now we're over here on the, on the old town, but this is a really beautiful beach too. Most of the time when we come here, it's off season and there's nobody on the beach because it's, this is really nice. What a difference, huh? Look at this sidewalk, how it's, it's hanging out over the water. Wow. This is so pretty here, and there's a ton of places to have your selfie taken, your picture taken, whatever. But that's so pretty. Look at how romantic this is with these cliff hanging chairs and tables out here, so pretty. And at night, oh my gosh, this is so cute. At night, you're gonna have troubles finding somewhere to eat, but at lunchtime, you have the whole place to yourself. <laughs> When you come to Sosopal, make sure you come down to the waterfront and along the, this cliff area is a walkway and it walks all along the waterfront here and the restaurants are hanging out over the water and there's cute little rest, restaurants along the, the, the wall here too. It's just beautiful and they've done it so nice, it's so romantic. You have to come down here. We, we found this really nice restaurant right on the water. It has a beautiful view of the beach. And uh, this place does have a lunch menu. A lot of the places do have lunch menus, which is a little bit smaller uh, portions. And uh, they, have, they have a regular menu too, which is huge. Uh, but they had a nice lunch menu with a lot of choices. I went ahead and picked the, the chicken with rice and Zarko, he picked moussaka. Uh, which we'll show you what it is. Um, it's Bulgarian style, it's delicious. And uh, we also got one beer and a large water. Once the food comes up, we'll show you what it looks like and then at the end we'll tell you how much we paid. So we just got our lunch and it's a huge portion. I got that Bulgarian style chicken with rice. It's kind of a rice pilaf. And then Zarko got the moussaka. Now people have heard of Greek moussaka which is made with eggplant. But the way the Bulgarians make it, they use potatoes and egg and like a ground beef with a nice crust on the top. It's, it's really quite good. It's filling. Bon appetit. We got our bill for our lunch. And uh, okay, with, with the chicken and rice and the moussaka, a large water and uh, big beer came to about $11.50. Right here on the water front, during high season, you can't beat it. <laughs> We're having a good time. Come to Sozopol, it's a beautiful town. You, you, you have the new so side and the, the old side, the, the old town. And they both have their own charm and you'll love it. We're, we're, we're gonna wrap it up now. We're gonna probably do a little bit of uh, filming on our bike ride back to the car. And then we might have coffee in the new town to show you what it's like there too, a little bit more.
As I mentioned it before, Sozopol is my favorite town and it's one of the top Bulgarian vacation destinations. It's popular with locals and tourists and families. We come here just for dinner sometimes. It's a stark contrast from the concrete jungles, the sunny beach and golden sands. Keep watching, we're heading north and we'll show you what those destinations look like. In our next video, we're going to explore between Sozopol and Burgas. There's a lot of little small hidden gems along the way and we're gonna find them. <laughs>